A 13-year-old boy from Langford is fighting for his life tonight after he was hit by a truck on a dark, wet road. The teen was struck as he crossed Souk Road last night, just after getting off a bus not far from his home. And then, just about an hour later, a 29-year-old woman was struck by a bus in Oak Bay. Tonight, police are pleading with you to remember that if you're a pedestrian, dark clothing and dark winter nights don't mix. CTV Stephanie Sherlock reports. The Langford teen hit by this truck had no pulse when police arrived at the scene shortly after 7 p.m. RCMP and paramedics were able to revive him and he was rushed to hospital. He required surgery um, for a possible brain injury. Um, he has a broken leg, broken pelvis, injuries to his kidneys and internal injuries. Police say he had just gotten off a bus and was heading home, crossing Souk Road near Glenshire when he was struck. He just picked the wrong spot to cross. Police say that trying to cross a busy highway such as this at night when it's wet, wearing dark clothing can be a recipe for disaster. Early Monday evening, a Saanich teen was hit by a car in similar conditions and sustained similar, though less severe, injuries. This seems to be happening more and more. People are either they're unaware of, uh, of the vehicles out there or they're just, you know, not, not using common sense. You should always cross in a crosswalk. He was using a crosswalk. So was the 29-year-old woman hit by a bus last night while crossing Foul Bay at Lansdowne. When we arrived, uh, determined that uh, a bus had struck a female in a marked crosswalk. Police say she suffered a broken arm, though it could have been much worse. BC Transit says road safety is everyone's responsibility. What we can say is that we all share the road, and there are a lot of things to be aware of, especially at this time of year. The bus driver is undergoing counselling. Counselling has also been offered to students at Dunsmuir School, where the teen struck last night had attended until June. We understand that when students have a friend or maybe even somebody that they don't know directly, but they know is involved in their community, gets injured or is in an accident like this, that it can bring out a lot of emotions for students. The teen is in critical condition in hospital. A strong reminder to all to be aware of your surroundings and ensure you're visible when walking at night. Stephanie Sherlock joins us now uh, live with more. Stephanie, police say a lot of what we need to remember if we're out at night really is just common sense, right? Absolutely, Hudson. It doesn't go without saying. You be aware of your surroundings. Take your headphones out. Keep your head up. Watch where you're going. Uh, look both ways before you cross the street. Completely common sense. But you know, sometimes it's easier for you to spot cars than it is for cars to spot you. And also, don't dress like I'm dressed. You know, in, in a few more minutes, it's going to be darker out here. And without a light on me, I would blend in in these dark colors. You want to be visible. Wear something reflective, something bright. You know, this is three accidents in side of two days we definitely don't want any more and with Halloween just right around the corner it's a good reminder for everyone. Mm -hmm. Stephanie Sherlock thank you. You're welcome.